Well, what do you find me up to today? I'm going to prepare these razor clams. Little razor fish. I've taken them out of the freezer some time ago. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have them salted. I'm going to salt these. So you have to separate the shells like this. And then remove each razor clam. I'm going to get rid of those shells. Free up the razor clam. Like so. And each, each uh, razor clam then has to be put on a tray and allowed to thaw. So I'll show you in a moment. Let me put them all on the tray. So here they are thawing out on the tray. I've raised the tray up a little bit so as all the water from them comes out and runs to the bottom. And as this gets soaking wet, I'm going to change it. Good. Done them herringbone style here. So as the water runs down and it just makes a, a small little gully. So here we are, we're back again with the um, razor clams. They've been thawing out and all the majority of water's out of them now. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Put that in the rubbish just to dry the, take some of the water away from them. That's resting on top of them. Okay. All right, there we go. Next thing that we've got to do is the fun part. We cover them in salt and lots of it. And these are really, really good baits. So we'll start by this one. What I usually do is I put the salt on them like that. Salt isn't particularly expensive either, which is good. But I don't waste this salt either. I've got some salt that I've saved, which I will use again. So there we go, we'll do that. And then what I will do is I'll just gently roll them on the other side, just to get as much as what I can do on it. Each one only takes a few seconds. Haven't got to be perfect. Just do this. Load them all up. This helps get them salted on the other bit. And the other thing, what we've got to do a bit later on, after I've done all this, is cover them in salt again. Just to make sure there's no areas that you may have just missed or areas that need a little bit more salt. Just put a little bit more Salt, start from the other end, this one. And then these will have to stay overnight, maybe even longer, to absorb all that salt. Look at that, it's quite a lot of salt. But it does need to be a lot of salt. And these will stay in good condition. Excellent. Right. So that's all my razor clams all prepared. Just got to let them absorb all that salt. And then they'll go rigid. Um, best to leave it 24 hours. Maybe 48 hours if you can. So that's what I'm going to do. And then when that's all done and I'm happy with it. Shake off all the excess salt and you just put them in a suitable container. There's quite a lot of salt on them but you just shake that off. There's one that's all, all shaken off nicely. Put them in there. That little container I'll show you in a moment. Yeah they've absorbed all that salt and it's filled them up and they're just really really good as bait 
and you can put them on a, a hook as you would do um as you would do ragworm really just thread them on there so um there they are all in the container i put the lid on them put them in the freezer and um next time i want to use uh, go use some bait i'm just going to use those razor clams ideal for catching bass bass with a little bit of mackerel uh, mix razor clams are brilliant for that well, these are not the best conditions to show you what's going on but here i have that um salted razor clam or razor fish okay and i'm gonna put that on this little line and just chuck it out and see what happens so we might find where the hook is that would be a great help wouldn't it down there come on there we are so i'll do that now and I'll show you it once I've put the put it all on that hook. So there it is. That's how I've put, baited it. Put it on that hook. Uh, I've just threaded it over and threaded it up over the the hook and around, similar to how you would do um, with the ragworm. To be honest, it's as good as that. So let's chuck that out and just leave that out there and see what happens. On there, I've got the salted razor clam. Um, which I, I did a little bit, a bit of a video on how to do salted razor clams the other day, or how I do them, like some inspiration on that. Um, so let's see what happens.